Welcome to the Longmont Public Media Forecast Discussion, covering the day Saturday through Tuesday, February 15th through 18th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth, and I've been playing with a new sound system here and getting a little bit of a whine. So if you hear that, I apologize, and we'll try to fix that in a future uh, recording. But this is the story of Longmont's weather with a little bit more science than you might be used to. Uh, starting with the moon, uh, Saturday night, which is sort of in the middle of our window here, uh, we're at last quarter with only 50% of the moon visible. It rises after midnight and uh, sets in the morning. We just had a nice little snowstorm, <laughs> if you're not tired of snow already, uh, Wednesday. So let's look at some of the uh, snow totals up and down the front range. Fort Collins got uh, anywhere from uh, three quarters of an inch up to three inches across town where Berthoud uh, did much better than normal with about two to four inches. Estes Park completely missed out with a uh, trace to uh, an inch of snow in spots. Hopping down south to Denver, north side Denver got uh, one, two, three inches of snow. There was a snow squall that went over Fort Lupton, south of Greeley, and then down uh, into Adam southern Adams County out of Weld. And I'm sorry, Northern Adams County, and there are six inches of snow around Fort Lupton, so they, they got quite a bonus there. The uh, western foothills usually do pretty well, and they didn't this time, just one to two inches out of DIA, two to three inches or so. Down at the Palmer Divide again, only a third of an inch to an inch. So the real winners were us in Boulder County, Longmont, getting two to three almost four inches of snow and boulder getting about two to three inches three and a half inches of snow so even locally longmont one we got the we got the most out of out of this system so the dominant weather pattern now is a ridge coming in this weekend and that's why we're going to have clear skies and uh, above normal temperatures for much of the weekend uh, you can see the big blue ridge line here with north flow coming down. This is going to give us a little downslope, a little compressional heating of the atmosphere, trough kind of parked over the Great Lakes and down into the southwest. Looking at the moisture or water vapor satellite image, you can see the uh, clouds don't show the pattern as clearly as they do and a nice big strong trough is in place but you can see there's some tropical moisture coming up into the southwest here and some moisture coming into the western u.s and that's going to matter at the end of the weekend looking at saturday noon we're under high pressure behind a weak little front that's coming through it's very dry but there will be some northern mountain snows here in colorado because that's all it does is give us snow in the northern mountains Jumping forward today to Sunday noon, you can see the moisture that we saw flowing into the northwest on the water vapor satellite image is now really becoming a pretty good snowstorm up here with snow increasing in the northern and western mountains of Colorado. Again, we're still on the dry side with downslope winds and a ridge aloft giving us uh, very warm temperatures. How warm? Well, some spots will be close to normal, some places will be up to 10 degrees above normal for Sunday. Most of the state is trending above normal for Sunday. Then that trough on the west coast moves in. This is a pink dot for Longmont right here. I try to remember to put a pink dot on all the maps to show where home is. And this trough comes in, this is for Monday morning. You see the entire jet stream flow is kind of flattening out across the U.S. We have this ridge off the west coast. What's really interesting is the snow begins here and may continue all the way to Wednesday and look at the difference uh, in the upper level pattern. There isn't much. This trough is still just about in the same spot. I'm going to go back. There's that trough. Going forward there's a the trough. What does change is the position of this ridge off the west coast. It moves in and intensifies a lot, but uh, isn't the pattern over the U.S. isn't moving very much. So we get a few days of very much the same weather with a very northerly fetch of air. This is now coming from north Canada, north of uh, Alaska, down all the way across uh, North America to us. So the temperatures will be dropping uh, into 
Wednesday. How much snow may we get through Wednesday noon with this next Monday through Wednesday storm? Uh, the GFS is not impressed. They're giving us a, a just a little bit of snow, not much more than that. Uh, coating or maybe an inch on the west side of town or over by Boulder. The mountains do well, as always, with a foot or foot and a half of snow or so. Looking at the ensemble map, again, this is multiple runs of the GFS with things tweaked and changed a little bit. Going through the weekend, we're largely above freezing here. Even Saturday into Sunday, we almost don't go below freezing on night, which, which will help with the melt. Let's get get... get the old stuff out of the way before we get some new stuff. Through Monday, and uh, you can see the precipitation starting early Monday morning at about midnight or so, but the temperatures don't really start dropping until midday Monday. So some of this early precipitation may be rain. And then going Monday night and Tuesday into Wednesday when the precipitation peters out, that is all snow, and we stay way below freezing day and night until we touch freezing on Thursday and we finally climb back up into the 50s maybe on Friday. A little chance of showery stuff next weekend but you can see the daytime temperatures are staying very warm so we might only have nighttime snow flurries. Looking out the next nine days the GFS still doesn't give us very much. Other models are giving us more like two to three inches for this early part of the weekend and so this may be underdone at this point. It may be overestimating how strong downsloping, drying, and warming will contribute to the snow buildup, but we'll keep an eye on that uh, in the day-to-day um, uh, -day forecast. So looking at the big picture here, Monday and Tuesday are really your snowiest times. Temperatures below freezing from Monday afternoon to Thursday morning, and a very nice weekend this weekend, and it looks like we're going into a very nice weekend next weekend. So when you're hunkered down at work, uh, it'll be cold and nasty outside. Of course, that doesn't make the commute nice. Sorry. For forecast discussions, maps, and uh, much more frequent updates than these videos offer, go to longmountobserver.org. Check out my weather column there. Take a look at all the other Longmont-focused news stories as well. It's a great, great location to uh, keep in touch with your community. So this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth with the forecast discussion Saturday through Tuesday, February 15th through 18th. See you next time. Keep looking up.